Hello, welcome back to another debate. My name is Masha. I'm Theodor. Hello. Today we're answering a question we received from our follower and it is what sort of accidental damage can generally be repaired? So um, I think that's the question needs to be uh, repositioned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically it's more a question which brands do repair everything yeah. and which brands don't repair anything. Yeah. So it's more about this question. So I would say there is a clear distinction. The European premium brands, they can repair things that are almost unimaginable. I know that from some brands, concre concretely speaking, or just an examples we had, we have uh, shipped back uh, for repair uh, Steiner binoculars, which was in three parts. Mm -hmm. So the <laughs> The compass was broken off and the central bridge was broken apart because I think a car went through mm -hmm. the, over the binoculars and they were still able to repair it. Uh, and we have similar stories with size, with Leica, with Swarovski. Swarovski also repairs like 50 years old binoculars in, in really bad shape. And then we have brands from Japan, from Asia, from China and so on, which are not able to repair anything because their yeah. business model is different. Yeah. So this is the main question is which binoculars can be repaired and which cannot be repaired. So when we're talking about European manufacturers, we have to mention that those who do the production in-house yeah. or in Europe. Yeah, 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 because you have European brands that don't really produce optics yeah. and normally because they are not producing optics, they also don't service it. Yeah. But uh, if I go through the most famous ones which have really great service uh, departments is Swarovski, Steiner, Leica, Zeiss, not in this order, it's yeah, yeah. in any kind of order. Uh, Noblex also used to have a really good service. Uh, Meopta is also famous for, for servicing everything, also really old models and so on. So these are the brands which are able to repair your binoculars. Yeah. And then you have a lot of other brands which basically when something goes wrong, you have to buy a new pair of binoculars. Yeah, we have uh, exam uh, exception, uh, mm -hmm. Vortex and Athlon have a type of warranty when they replace your binoculars. True. They so, are not servicing them, yeah. at least not in European Union, I don't know, in the US. Uh, you just get a new pair. Yeah. So that's also a good solution. And I think there are other brands in the US which have a similar model. Yeah, there are probably many more, yeah. yeah. So uh, what actually can be repaired? Well, most common problems, uh, we also have a video about this, most common yeah. problems that can happen, but let's say if we, we speak about the damage. Uh, collimation problems, so when you're seeing double vision and you see that something is wrong, that means that the both optical axes are not uh, aligned anymore. Aligned, yeah. This is something what every European brand can, uh, can definitely solve. Uh, but then housing damages, Mm -hmm. Let's say if your binoculars are 20 years old and they were on the sun and exposed to uh, salt water and so on, uh, all the rubber can be replaced and, and everything else can be repaired uh, yeah. with premium European brands. Uh, focusing problems, if in time something goes wrong with focusing, if the dust comes in and so on. If the seals wear out. Yeah and you get internal fogging because yeah. uh, water. water gets in, binoculars, what else can be repaired? Yeah, more or less, if we your eye cuffs uh, wear so, off, yeah. they can be replaced. Yeah, they can just yeah. screw the old one off and uh, then put the new one on. This is one option. Okay, but then there are some still, I would say some cases where damage cannot be repaired. Yeah, if you're improperly uh, cleaning your binoculars and scratches happen on the outer yeah. lenses, this cannot be repaired, I think. Usually they don't change the yeah. lenses, no. And also if uh, your binoculars are damaged in fire, yeah. there is no binoculars anymore, <laughs> no, so nothing like to be repaired. You bring all the ashes <laughs> <laughs> to the service and they will not produce the binoculars back. Yeah. Uh, Maybe some really, really heavy mechanical damage. Yeah. Can all, it's also hard to repair, even though we had cases, like I said, with Steiner, with Sorowski and so on, where there were quite big mechanical uh, damages due to falls uh, driving over, uh, over binoculars with a car and so on, yeah. uh, instances like this. And in some cases, they are able to repair them. In some cases, if, it, if the damage is too big, they are not able to repair them. 
usually it works like this. You send the notepads back to us or directly to the, to the factory and they send you a quote mm -hmm. how much the repair would cost. And then you decide because honestly speaking, if you drive over your binoculars with a car, the warranty will not cover this. Yeah. This is your fault. But yeah. still, if the binoculars are like, like this, 3,000 euros expensive, if they would say, okay, we need 550 euros for, for a repair, you're willing to pay because yeah. then you have a brand new binoculars um, and the problem is solved. Yeah, you, you have to decide if it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I think we covered. Yeah, it's basically the like this. If you have premium binoculars, they can usually um, repair most of the things. Yeah. And if you have more affordable models, uh, you just have to buy a new pair. Usually it's like this, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next debate. Bye. Bye.